My name is Jonathan Wong Fry, and welcome to my cooking hour. Now, like so many people out there, I have become rather obsessed with the Great British Baking Show, and I've decided that I'm going to try and make a gâteau vert. Why? Because I find it fascinating that it is made with spinach and pistachios. Ready? Let's have fun. Alrighty, so we're going to start with the first portion of our baking. We are first going to make the green marzipan. So we're going to need our pistachios ground, powdered sugar, one large egg white, and one teaspoon of pistachio essence. And last but not least, a nice big glass of red wine always makes baking a lot more fun. Mm. Excellent! And there we have our marzipan. We're going to wrap it up. Stick it in the fridge to cool. Time for the next step. Now we are going to make our Genoise sponge, or as they like to say on the Great British Baking Show, Genoese sponge. So we're going to need our large eggs, more pistachios, ground, butter, lemon, all-purpose flour, and sugar. And last but not least, of course, another glass of wine. Did you know that the Gâteau Vert is actually Monet's favorite cake? Mm. He used to eat it on every one of his birthdays. All right, Leprechaun Green Genoise is done and ready to go into the oven. Now that our Genoise is rising in the oven, we are moving on to the crème au beurre. With that, we're going to have our infamous spinach, egg yolks, unsalted butter, powdered sugar, tablespoon of kirsch, and of course, more ground pistachios. Oh, and never forget, another glass of wine. Alrighty, quick look at my favorite part of the process. Blitzing the spinach. Mmm, oh, those greens for you, yeah. Get a cut off. Uh, get a cut off, get a cut off. Put that on my sponge, right? <laughs> Alright, now we have our cake, our genoise. We have our beau, And we have our marzipan. Now, to just combine the three. Look a little wine. <laughs> Alright, so we're trying to do the more difficult part about this. Getting the marzipan on top of oh, the cake. True believers, we have come to the end, and the pièce de résistance. So we have our cake with the marzipan and the crème au beurre inside, and now we are going to put the spinach icing or fondant on it.
And don't forget to finish your wine. All right, so after putting it in the fridge and letting it gel up for about 12 hours, make yourself a cup of coffee and you can cut right into this beautiful, delicious Gâteau Vert. Bon appétit.